From 2004 through 2006, Luke Kane was a star linebacker for the SU Orange. Thousands of fans would cheer and call his name as he made tackle after tackle, forced fumbles or sacked quarterbacks. He was on a full athletic scholarship. Today, you'll find Luke Kane, 40 pounds lighter, standing on the corner of Jefferson and Warren Streets, begging for money. A day-to-day -day type of citizen, maybe, well, maybe not. Well, I was the average, I guess the average life of a, of a, of a, a honest person, a street, street person or whatever, I would say. You're out here panhandling. Yeah. Right? Do, did you ever think you could, it would come to this? That no, you, sir. No, sir, I never, I never in my life thought I would be on the corner like pine handling and stuff like that, no. Kane tells me he suffers from mental illness now. He claims it could be the result of a drug someone slipped into his drink several years ago, or it could be an old injury. Have you suffered a brain injury? Yeah, I think so. I haven't really, I'm, I'm still working with doctors trying to see what, what are the um, effects of, of it. Well, Do you think you could have had a concussion while you were playing? Maybe. Maybe I might have. <clears throat> Lewis Kane says that he's been standing on this corner of Jefferson and Warren just about every day for the past year and a half. He says on a good day, he'll get about $50 in handouts from strangers. Breaks my heart. Thank God that we have a country that hopefully helps people like that. But I think that they need to, someone needs to go see him to get him off the streets. Luke Kane says people who know he was once a football star offer encouragement. And like, like I think it get better. Things to get better. A lot of people, people telling me to, to keep my head up. You know, people, people telling me, uh, like they remember me from playing in the games and stuff like that. Uh, just telling me, telling me that, that, that they, that they, they want to see me back out there on the field. Kane says he fell five courses short of getting an SU degree in child and family studies. He says the university did try to get him to re-enroll, but he remains a street person. Reporting from Syracuse, I'm Jim Kenyon.